Hello and good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. I hope you're enjoying the fact that it is Friday and the weather appears to be picking up a little bit. So fingers crossed for a lovely day and a lovely weekend. Um, I've had the pleasure of talking about someone I believe who has pushed the limits. Um, this is uh, a, a lady called Maggie Alfonso. Now, she's actually fairly local. She's um, Lewisham-born to Nigerian parents and plays for rugby for two clubs. Well, a club and uh, her country. Uh, the club is Saracens, which is North London. So it would be the most local club, I guess. And she's also very famously a uh, England player. Uh, she's known as the first lady of England's rugby. Well, why? She pushed the limit so hard that she won seven straight Six Nations titles for the ladies' rugby team, six of which were Grand Slam wins, which means every single match in the tournament was won. She's the winner of the Women's Rugby World Cup back in 2014, and she was inducted into the RFU, the Rugby Football Union um, Hall of Fame, um, and was the, also the winner of the prestigious award for the Rugby Union Writers Club for that same year because she absolutely knows how to push the limits. She's now retired. You may well have seen her. She was a commentator uh, for the Six Nations this year, which also well, didn't actually finish as it happened because of COVID. But she's been a commentator for many of the internationals as well as the national uh, games. She's uh, recently written uh, for The Telegraph and is very, very passionate to bring in, about bringing diversity into rugby, into the leadership of rugby, and particularly with uh, promoting women's rugby within that forum. Um, as a girls' junior rugby coach myself, um, I had the pleasure of meeting her really briefly, but more importantly, I had the pleasure of listening to her speak a few years ago. And um, what an awe-inspiring moment. She absolutely encapsulates, for me, the reason you push the limits for success, for that recognition, and for her to be the very best she can be. Lucky enough to talk to you about something else today. And I want you guys to be able to push the limits over the next week. Um, I'm speaking particularly to year nine students at the moment, year nine into year 10. You guys have got something called transition coming up. That's about moving from a year nine student, a key stage three student, into a year 10 student, known as a key stage four student. Now, that's a big change. You guys have made your option choices, and you're now moving to become some of our senior students, the top end of our students. So on Monday... Period one, we have a live interactive launch of our transition program. There'll be myself and several other leaders giving you information, advice, and the guidance on what to do as you move toward becoming a year 10. You'll have opportunity to ask questions, vote in little polls, and actually express your opinions as you go through. So it'd be really great to hear your voice coming strongly through that event. There afterwards, period two on Monday, period two on Tuesday, period two on Thursday, and period two on Friday, you have four option subjects, one of which will be delivered to you each and every day during those period twos. The teacher's been challenged to you to make an engaging lesson, and they've absolutely delivered. They've got Google Classrooms ready to deliver live lessons to you guys so you can engage with the first part of learning for your option subjects. Me as an engineering teacher, I've got my lesson ready. I'm looking forward to my team to arrive on those days, and I'm really looking forward to delivering some really cracking learning for you. So get involved, be part of it. Look out for your teaching and learning email in your morning, in your morning inbox, which will give you the links to the appropriate classrooms and places during the week. So click on those links, say yes, you would like to be invited into that classroom, and then get involved. I do have the pleasure now to hand over to Mr. Bryce. Oh, no, sorry, it's Mr. K. He looks very similar, but it's, you know, just a, just a different accent. Apologies, Mr. K, please take over. Okay, not a problem, sir. Okay, um, thank you, um, everyone. Hope you're all enjoying and have enjoyed um, the week, okay? What I'm going to speak to you about today is the Year 10-12 uh, Work Experience Program with Reed. okay? Uh, the end of, year and, uh, end of Year 10 and 12 is a, a great opportunity to participate uh, in valuable work experience. Uh, uh, due to, the, obviously, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, many plans in relation to this have been disrupted. Uh, so... 
Saying that, we've got an online program for you, for you to engage with, okay? And as part of our Remarkable Future Careers program with the AET, we are delighted to be able to offer the opportunity to participate in virtual work experience uh, program. Uh, the virtual work experience program has been designed by Reed Group, uh, and they are global uh, recruiters in business uh, specifically um, for you. It has been created in a way that it replicates key features uh, of traditional work experience uh, without the physical encounters. Um, you can access the entire program from your device at home uh, with successful completion resulting you being uh, get, grabbing a certificate so you can wave that in front of uh, your employer, future employer's face as well that you've engaged with such a brilliant program. The entire program will be delivered through the Remarkable uh, Futures Virtual uh, Work Experience with Read eBooklet. On Monday, you'll be invited into uh, a work experience Google Classroom, which will contain everything that you need. Um, start by downloading your own copy of the eBooklet, and you will then uh, complete this throughout the week. For Year 10s, there is a, a clear timetable you will need to follow with daily tasks uh, for you to submit into the classroom uh, by the end uh, of the week. Um, and, and also, uh, Ms. Doyle will be looking after that um, sort of aspect. For the Year 12 students, uh, the Work Experience Program will be running uh, alongside your normal lessons, so that will give you time in your study period to complete those tasks. Again, start by downloading a copy of the booklet and submit the individual tasks in the Google Classroom uh, by the 17th uh, of July. Um, with that as well, I just want to say with the, um, all the best ones will be sent to read. Uh, as well, out of the year 10s and the year 12s, with um, potential future career opportunities being made available to you. So this is an absolutely uh, fantastic opportunity for you to engage with a leading global company. Well, with that, I'll now pass over to Mr. Bice, who will talk to you about Enrichment Week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Kay. Uh, a fantastic opportunity for us to finish the year on a real high, especially through these strange times. Your teachers have been really busy planning an enrichment week for us, which starts on Monday. And in that, it's a whole load of activities and experiences that you can dine into, work through at your pace, and actually get an achievement award at the end of it. We've got a little bit of a twist to that, though, and a real positive for it, because on Monday, we've invited our Year 7s onto site for a festival of sport and a diversity session in the afternoon, Year 8 on the Tuesday, and the Year 9s on the Wednesday. If you're thinking about coming to the Academy, it'd be great to see you all. We're really looking forward to it. Got everything planned and everything set up in a nice, safe environment for you. Please make sure your parents and your carriers fill out the forms that have been sent out to you so we know who to expect on the day. Don't forget to bring your pat lunch and plenty of drinks. Entrance to the academy on that day is by Woolwich Road, down by the field. You'll see myself and Mr. K out there in the morning. Be great to see sevens on Monday, year eights on Tuesday, and year nines on the Wednesday. Within that program, as you click on your links, your uh, enrichment activities, we've also got a sustainability project that's starting on the Thursday morning. So a fantastic opportunity for the whole of the academy to start actually looking at sustainability around Bexley Heath. A real thing for us and a positive for the environment as well. Within those enrichment weeks, you'll also see a folder in there that you can click into and sign up to called a Digital Enterprise Award. And the idea of that is a nationally recognised award, a little bit like what the year 10s are doing with their work experience, to look at getting a set of career badges and employment certificates in order to help you move forward in your career. So that's a really good link you can move in into work there. What I advise you to do is every day, look at your emails, join all the sessions that are in there. In each of the one we want to do is make sure we cover all your four areas of our core values, but you're usually brave, just for what's possible, push the limits and be big hearted. And if you manage to complete two activities from those four categories, you will achieve an award at the end of it. So a fantastic opportunity for you. Please make sure you get on. Some birthday shout-outs this week, just before we, win it, we finish. Uh, Casey, in Year 10, happy birthday. You're going to be 15. And then a couple of birthdays at the weekend. Jake, in Year 7, you're going to be 12. Happy birthday, Jake. And Lacey, in Year 8, you're going to be 13. Again, party hard, party safe, small groups. Remember our COVID-19 protection. Busy time, lots going on. It'd be great to see everybody really getting involved in all the fantastic projects with Year 9s moving into Year 10 with their options next week. Great, fantastic opportunities. Please make sure you sign up for that. It'd be lovely to see people back on site next week. But most importantly at all, keep safe, keep washing those hands regularly, 
maintain those social distancing, especially if you're coming in and out of school and the modes of transport. Remember the two-metre rule and have a great week. Hopefully see you next week. Thank you.